What's good, YouTube? It's your boy IQ Contain. Come back to you guys in a video to man. As you guys can see by the time the thumbnail, I finally won boot camp. I finally won a limited boost. I know it's late in the year. I know it's May. But hey, maybe if this event comes out or other events come out, you could have an idea. I'm going to tell you the exact reasons and the exact ways you can win this event along with the build I made, along with the build my teammate made. And along with the build my center made by the way don't mind my my face or my hair or anything i got a little bit of a like a like a dry skin acne problem going on so <laughs> trying to get that dealt with and i got a little uh treatment today so my face is a little bit like puffy and a little bit red and look maybe looks a little shiny but anyways i i just don't don't mind my face and stuff like that in this video please Please don't roast me in the comments. If you want to, go ahead, but please, chill on me. Anyways, we're gonna get into the video right now. We finally got the unlimited boost. Uh, wagers on the way very soon. We will be hitting Elite 2 in the next week and a half, probably. By the 20th, I wanna hit Elite 2. I told y'all, bro, I'm back on my YouTube grind, man. What can I say? But yeah, let's hop right back. Let's hop into the video. Let's get 100 likes on this video for me winning boot camp and unlimited boost and giving you guys a little inside info on how to win this event, if you guys don't know already. I didn't record that much gameplay, but no, I'm just going to show you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe for new channel and post notifications as well. Appreciate you guys so much. There's also going to be a new video format because I got the green screen in the background now. Green screen is coming back. But anyways, let's get right in the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Boy IQ is out. Right into the my player we go. Keep in mind, this is a boot camp build. The build I'm about to show you, I highly recommend you do not use it in the park. This is boot camp only. Like, only use this build if you're trying to win boot camp with a good squad. If your team, if your team has the well, what this build is a mid range playmaker, a play shot, and then the center, which I'll be showing all three builds. So into the skill breakdown, you're obviously going to want to choose a pure yellow. The pure yellow because all you're doing at the one is getting assists. That is all you're doing. You're getting in your three lobs and you're getting in five flashy passes courtesy of your other play shot, which is playing on your team that is dexing, trying to get threes, trying to get the games done as quick as possible. I'm going to explain that when I show you guys some gameplay after these builds. But the pure play right here. Physical profile, you're gonna wanna choose the top one because you're, you're gonna wanna have the highest speed. The 95 speed, 94 acceleration, doesn't matter because you're only gonna be a 75. You're not gonna have anywhere near those stats. Shout out to Hoodie Bax. I used his build video exactly. So if you guys wanna go, go check out his video, go check it out. Driving layup, the, this doesn't matter. You just put this to a 79. You max out the mid range, max out this. And when it comes to getting badges for this build, you don't need any shooting badges. The only thing that you need is playmaking badges. That's it. And I'll show you guys how you upgrade this build too and everything. Try and get as much playmaking and defensive badges as possible because what I was doing, I was playing on ball defense. You guys are gonna see it in the gameplay, but this is, this is the build right here. Copy, copy the exact attributes right here, as you guys can see. Body shape doesn't really matter like that. I went with, I went with compacts. Um, that's up to you guys. You can either go 6'1 or 6'2. The way I saw it is your speed or acceleration doesn't go down. And you're a 75, like I said, anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So keep them at 6'2. Put them at the lowest weight possible, lowest wingspan possible for the increase three if you want that and a little bit down on the defense but like i said you're not shooting like that so none of that matters and then right here you need to 100 percent choose the playmaking badge so this benefits um your your teammate on the off ball decks is when he can shoot threes and once you get play take your teammates don't really miss like that along with throwing lobs it makes the, everything a lot a lot easier let me hop on my build real quick this is the this is the build the one this is the build that brings up the ball up the court um let me show you guys exactly how you need to upgrade this build so i just loaded on to my boot camp build the build that i did indeed use to win the boot camp as you guys can see and this is proof i won the unlimited boost this is not files this is not a glitch this is not clickbait i actually won boot camp i'm trying to help you guys out okay so i'm on my 75 and as you guys can see, we go to the progression. The only things I, the only four categories I upgraded were mid range shot, three point shot, pass accuracy, and ball handling. You can't touch anything else. No defense, no finishing, no post moves, no free throw, post fade. Free throw and post fade don't even matter if you're on a regular build. 
But anyways, this is all you need to upgrade on the, the mid-range playmaker to make it a 75 to ensure yourself the best chances of winning boot camp the event itself that's all you need on build number one let me show you guys what you need to do for the play shot which is the the build that's responsible for dexing and shooting the threes and stuff like that and then let's get into the center and then i'll show you guys some gameplay all right for the second build you have two options you can either make the play shot or you can make the sharpshooter i will not have the sharpshooter in this video if you want to look up a sharpshooter boot camp build go ahead and look that up on youtube but i'm going to be showing you the simple green yellow play shot the build that will be responsible for shooting so obviously it's a point guard you know what i mean you're going to choose the green yellow pie chart now keep in mind this build will not be winning for if, if this is your teammate or whatever it is this teammate is responsible for shooting only they have no chance of winning top 50 they probably don't even have a chance of winning top 50 excuse me let's go to the green yellow pie chart right here and then choose the top physical profile for the best speed best acceleration possible because you will be a 75 you will be pretty slow drive and layup doesn't matter you can throw you can put this up wherever max out your shooting for the most amount of shooting badges the 25 shooting max out the playmaking as well and then put the rest on defense and this should be enough hold on you don't need you don't need 24 playmaking you, you you only need you only need 22 go to the lowest 22 the lowest 22 are right there then max out the defense so you get 125 22 and 10. when it comes to this build the only badges that matter are shooting and defense if you need a little bit of playmaking for being a secondary ball handler that's fine but that's up to you to decide and that's up for your team to decide but this is this is the build that'll be responsible for shooting all that like i said already make sure you have the shooting and defensive badges on this build obviously on the mid-range playmaker the playmaking and defense and then let me show you guys how you upgrade this build but let me show you the height real quick uh body shape go with slight go with 6'1 for you know higher speeds you're gonna be a 75 overall you're not gonna have that crazy high speed lowest weight lowest wingspan and then you want to choose the sharp takeover out of these three options sharp takeover is the best in my opinion and then uh yeah let me hop in the park let me show you guys how to upgrade the second build which is the shooter now on the second build as you guys can see i literally just loaded into the park it's a 60 overall build let me hop into the progression real quick let me show you exactly how to upgrade this build like i said you're going to be the shooter so you want to have the highest mid-range and the highest three point possible pass accuracy doesn't really matter like that's like i said you're not getting assists you're the one shooting the ball you are the shooter ball handle all the way up to where you can upgrade to where you don't hit 76 but 75 overall because boot camp is 75 overalls and under that is the build right there that's the second build that's the the, the badges you need you know the badges you have to upgrade the way you need to upgrade it the badges that are necessary and what your role is on the court let me get into the third and final build and then some gameplay for the third and final build the build that is responsible for one pass to assists two playing good defense and three catching the lobs thrown by the point guard which is the mid-range playmaker let me get into it right now let me show you guys exactly how to make this build you're going to want to go with the yellow blue pie chart obviously physical profile the top one for the good speed and good acceleration uh close shot 89 driving layup 68 driving dunk 63 let's make this quick for you guys 68 don't touch the shooting because you're definitely not going to be shooting at all on this build uh 79 on the post moves defense all the way up perimeter you don't need perimeter defense up because you're literally just gonna be sitting paint because the plan the, the ideal plan is is that it, everyone is a 75 and it's it's matchmaking so usually you're playing against people that don't really know how to shoot that well on 75 overall builds and majority of them don't really have badges that they're running like three inside centers or stuff like that so you're responsible for getting the rebound throwing it to the point guard and then they throw it to the shooter then you get the pass to assist therefore meaning you're barely playing any defense at all but when it comes to this build the badges you should probably be upgrading are max finishing 100 percent max defense and make sure you have a little bit of playmaking maybe at least you know bail out uh quick first step downhill badges like that but into the body shape you're going to want to do built height six nine 
for the weight you're gonna go 195 wingspan 91 and then for the takeover you're gonna want to go with the glass takeover out of all out of all four options we're gonna go with the glass takeover you guys see the interior finisher for the final build let me show you what you need to upgrade i know this seems like a long video make sure you guys drop a like if you haven't already as well but i want to ensure you guys the best chance you have of winning boot camp i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay after this let me show you how to upgrade the final build if you wanted to set a full squad with the right builds for boot camp let's go to the park for the last build we load into the park for the last time you guys see me on a 60 overall let's head over to the progression like I said, you're going to be responsible for getting a lot of defensive rebounds. You're hitting your point guard, and then they're hitting the shooter, and you're getting the pass to assist. So make sure your defensive rebound is maxed all the way at an 80 or, or an 81, or you can do an 80. It doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't bump up your overall one. And then go to standing dunk because you're going to be getting thrown a lot of standing lobs, a lot of... Um, moving lobs you know you're gonna need that so 85 driving dunk and then 70 71 standing dunk plus if you put to stand uh 72 you get a 76 overall here is the final uh the final way to upgrade the build so i showed you guys how to upgrade the the point guard the shooter and now the center make sure you guys get all the screenshots hopefully another boot camp comes out in this video actually means something and it helps you guys out but uh if not you know uh, an upload's an upload let's get into some gameplay though let me show you guys exactly what i mean by all of this i didn't record much gameplay but i'm gonna show you guys what i got along with me unlocking the unlimited boost just so you guys know i actually won the event let's hop right into it bro this is the last 30 minutes of gameplay i recorded the last 30 minutes of the event itself before i did end up unlocking my limited boost and securing I'm gonna explain a little bit. I'm gonna just let the gameplay run a little bit. We're obviously not gonna watch all 30 minutes, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right here. So it's 0-0, zero, zero. As, as you guys can see, Brawny got the assist right there. Joe, my boy Pro Joe, was the play shot, AKA the one shooting all the shots. I'm the one getting the assists. Majority of the time, we're either letting the team get a lob in, we're letting them shoot a wide open three because they usually miss it or you know and, and anything like that so i get i get it i hit joe and then that's a three that's it it's just a repeated cycle brawny passes it into me i pass it to the shooter and then he shoots the ball and it's a wide open three he contests the lob he passed to me he i pass to the shooter and it's a green every single time that's all you have to do and that's literally the repeated process for four hours straight don't play much defense see i'm letting him shoot a wide open three sometimes they're going to green it if they're if they're good and they know what they're doing but we eventually figure out what they want to do and we end up winning this game super quick like i said repeat a process and as you guys can see we have team takeover now team takeover make sure your center also has on showtime make sure the guard has on flashy passer there's a lot of things that matter bro make sure you're getting games over quick make sure your shooter is someone who's efficient there's a lot of things that really matter when it comes to this but you know you guys get the you guys get the idea i don't have to show you guys the repeated everything and i'm gonna be honest with y'all bro i really didn't think i really didn't think it was possible to win the event uh without getting games thrown the entire time i only got three games thrown the entire event obviously you have to trade lobs with other people as well as you guys can see you know i was just in sixth place but it's like bro the stress some of these events put on the mind especially for me someone who's has really bad luck with events and you just have no idea what you're doing wrong and then you finally win the event it feels good bro but make sure you're taking advantage of your trade games make sure uh you know obvious obviously if it, it's it, it's hard to get games thrown you know what i mean but you gotta do with it what you can this is me loading into the park it's gonna show leaderboards right here as you guys can see i was in eighth place all right there it is congratulations thank you for playing boot camp as you guys can see we won the unlimited boost i obviously chose the boost and the jacket you know i don't really like the jacket like that but you might as well get it you know what i mean because if not people are gonna think you have files even though i'm making a video on all of this it's not like the whole world's gonna see this video 
I know I did a lot of talking in this video for you guys. I broke down every single build you have to make. Uh, I broke down how you have to upgrade it. I broke down some of the gameplay as well. You know, I could have explained the gameplay a little bit more, but it's like, you know, there's only so much you guys need to hear, especially this late in the year when there's not even a chance, uh, there's not even possibly another chance of a boot camp coming out. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, appreciate you guys, bro. Hopefully I helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe if you're new, turn the post notifications to be on that grind to 25k. About to hit 24k. So I appreciate you guys for that. Grind continues, man. I told y'all, bro, I'm back on my consistent YouTube grind. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys have a, a good day, night, you know, whatever it is. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves.